If electricity runs through your veins and you crave to know about every new EV that arrives to the market, or maybe you're simply learning about the inventions of the automotive world, in any case, we have got a batch of the most recent electrified news. Let's take a look at those exciting electric vehicles that have just surfaced on our radars and we'll be fast-forwarding the inevitable EV revolution. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified about the new Automotive Territory videos and enjoy the ride! NIO ES6 The Chinese startup NIO is a familiar name on the EV market. In the past three years, the company released several all-electric car models and have successfully launched the mass production of their full-size SUV ES8. Just recently, NIO announced that the third model, a mid-size SUV ES6, will join the brand's lineup in 2019. The automobile will be sold in three modifications, standard performance and the most luxurious Premier, limited to 6,000 units. Though smaller and less expensive than the ES8 model, the NIO CV actually packs a lot of new tech. It gets NIO Pilot hardware with 23 sensors and semi-autonomous IQ4 chip, more potent dual-motor powertrain netting 435 or 544 horses, and higher-capacity battery. Depending on the modification, the new NIO is expected to have the maximum range of 255 or 317 miles. Nissan Leaf E+. Even though the Tesla Model 3 has drastically undermined Nissan sales in the EV category, their Leaf 2018 remains among the most desirable affordable electric cars in the world. In order to tap into the market of those buyers who desire more range and power, the new Leaf E Plus was revealed at the beginning of 2019. There are no visual changes to the auto besides a small badge on the back. All of the upgrades were limited to the battery pack and powertrain. The capacity was increased to 62 kWh, which should provide 226 miles of range. However, unlike expected, the temperature management system remains air-cooled. The motor output was boosted to 215 horses, which improved the top speed to 100 mph and boosted rolling speed acceleration by 13%. The new Leaf will be arriving to dealerships later in 2019 and is expected to cost $36,000. Rivian R1T and S1T One of the current limitations that stop electric cars from taking over consumers' buying lists is the lack of body styles. The EVs usually come in as compact hatchbacks, sedans and recently crossover SUVs, while the pickup body style has remained unavailable. The US-based startup Rivian is determined to change the situation by bringing to the market the all-electric pickup R1T in 2020. It will be built on the skateboard platform, which will allow to mount multiple bodies, namely, the R1S 7 seater SUV will be the next Rivian to hit the road. The production model will be priced from $70,000 for the base configuration with 105 kWh battery and 402 horsepower output, but the most advanced trim will get a 180 kWh pack, 400 miles of range and 4 motor powertrain with 750 horsepower at the wheels and 10,326 pound-feet of torque. This powertrain will ensure all-wheel drive capability, 1,800 pounds payload and 11,000 pounds towing capacities. Xiaopeng X-Pang G3 This is the first electric vehicle from the Chinese startup Xiaopeng that was first introduced a couple of years ago. After the initial release, many have dubbed this compact crossover a Tesla clone since it was heavily inspired by the brand's design and technology. In 2019, the X-Pang G3 has been finally revealed in this production version. The crossover still shares some similarities with the Model X and Model S, but becomes significantly less powerful. It uses a 197 horsepower permanent magnet synchronous motor and a 47 kilowatt hour battery. Depending on the driving style, the model should have range within 150 to 200 miles on a charge. The G3 is mainly oriented on the Chinese market, where it qualified for the government subsidies that reduced its price from $33 to $20,000, so it is still unclear whether the crossover will be available on the European and the US markets. VW ID While the premium members of the VW Group, Audi and Porsche, have already revealed their first electric models, the Volkswagen brand itself is going through the testing process. The model that will turn the page on the internal combustion era of the German automaker will be a compact hatchback currently labeled simply as ID. The car will not be based on any previously existing models, the likes of Golf, but would rather be built on the entirely new modular MEB platform, 
which will support future crossover sedan and van body styles as well. Two range configurations are in the works, from 190 to 295 miles on a charge, and the battery will support 125 kW fast charging. The automaker has an admirable ambition to price this car at the same level as currently existing ICE counterparts, so definitely under 30 grand. Harley-Davidson Live Wire The 2019 model here will be remembered as the start of Harley-Davidson push to discover new classes of motorcycles, attempting to broaden the sales base. Among the first models within this initiative is the HD Live Wire Electric Street Fighter, based on the concept that was introduced all the way in 2014. The new two-wheeler will be powered by a 74-horsepower motor with instant 52 pound-feet of torque on tap. Resulting performance will ensure 3.5 seconds 0-60 to 60 sprints and 110 miles of zero-emission riding. The Live Wire is the first Harley to get a fully adjustable suspension from Showa. Moreover, the brakes with ABS protection and traction control feature are standard. With a price tag of $30,000, Live Wire is not remotely close to ending the era of internal combustion motorcycles, but let's hope that it will play the role of Tesla Roadster for electric bikes, paving the way for more affordable models. By the way, we never miss new releases of electric vehicles, so if you can't find some of the recent models in this episode, make sure to check out the others. The links with suggestions are waiting for you in the description and information cards. Do not forget to ring the notification bell and let's keep rolling! Nissan Leaf Nismo RC the production model of the second generation of Nissan Leaf, though more impressive in terms of technical characteristics, still lacks the appeal of high performance. So in order to promote this V within the automotive community, Nissan created a custom coupe sports car on top of the existing platform. The two-door outcome is powered by dual electric motors, which ensure all-wheel drive capability and are good for 327 horses and 472 pound-feet of torque. Forget about Leaf's 6 seconds 0-60 to 60 time, the Nismo RC gets there in just 3.4 seconds. The car received comprehensive aerodynamic package, legit roll cage, and carbon fiber finished interior. Since the number of sports competitions where electric cars can participate is rather limited, the newly created Nissan Leaf Nismo RC will likely remain a publicity stunt model, even though six models will be produced. Byte and M Byte and K Byte Byton is the Chinese automotive startup led by the former BMW executives. It is trying to build cars that will become rich man gadgets rather than simple vehicles for daily commute. At the moment, they have two vehicles scheduled for production. The crossover SUV m -Byte hitting the worldwide market in 2020 and the K-Byte executive sedan follow-up in 2021. Both cars shall be available in 71 and 95 kWh battery configurations, as well as single or dual motors all-wheel drive variants with 250 and 470 horsepower output respectively. The Bytons are expected to cover 250 to 325 miles on a charge and will get levels 3 to 4 autonomy if the regulations catch up. The most striking feature of these EVs though is an enormous 49 by 10 inches screen spanning across the entire dashboard. It will support gesture and face recognition, adaptation to each passenger and seamless synchronization with all of your smart devices. Hyundai Nexo Fuel Cell Unlike the major Asian automaker Toyota, who is stubbornly opposing the introduction of all electric cars and allegedly focuses solely on fuel cell vehicles, Hyundai is actively developing both technologies. Along the pure electric Kona EV, the company introduced the Nexo hydrogen-powered crossover, which is set to replace Tucson fuel cell. The new model is using a fuel system comprising of three identical 700-bar hydrogen tanks, 156 liters in total. The powertrain is getting a boost in horsepower and torque that now equal to 161 horses and 291 pound-feet. The overall range is 380 miles on a single fill-up with 5-minute refuel cycle, which should definitely excite range skeptics. The Nexo shall become the test platform for the latest autonomy features from Hyundai, like lane follow assist, level 2 autonomy hybrid driving assist, and remote smart parking. Kia Soul EV In the 2019 model here, the new generation Soul EV continues with its unmistakable styling and shape, but gets several big visual updates. The crossover's most noticeable changes include a redesigned rear fascia, a new grillless front, LED lights, exclusive 17-inch alloy wheels, 
and the front charging port on the driver's side. However, the best novelties of the new sole are hidden on the inside. The model comes with a new electric motor that nets 201 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque, packing almost twice more power than the outgoing 109 horsepower sole. It also gains a standard DC fast charger and a high-tech 64 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery, which is expected to offer at least 200 miles of range. To add to the appeal, the new EV is equipped with Kia DriveWise Driver Assist Tech and the new UVO Telematics. Biomega Sin Biomega is an electric bike manufacturer from Denmark that debuted on the electric car market in the late 2018. The company's first automobile is called Sin. It is a compact four-seater crossover with skateboard chassis, lightweight carbon fiber body construction, and unique swappable battery technology. The concept is powered by four and hub motors and a modular battery that allows it to cover up to 100 miles on a charge. Sin also has transparent roof, front fascia, and doors that increase visibility for the driver and create an open-air environment for the passengers. If you closely follow the field of electrified vehicles, you must have noticed that their numbers are steadily growing. Tell us what you think about this latest batch of newcomers. Make sure to watch other episodes about EB innovations on our channel by following the links displayed on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and may the torque be with you!